Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have part two of my huge thrifting week. In part one, I showed you guys everything that I picked up from Monday until Wednesday. That was 40 items, around 40 items. And in this video, part two, I will show you everything that I picked up on Thursday and then on Sunday. I went to three stores and again we have about 40 items here to get through. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Um, first off we have, okay so Thursday at 7 a.m. I did go to the Family Thrift Center outlet. Um, I try to go every single Thursday. That's the day that they put out new merchandise for the week. Everything in the store is $2 each, whether it be shoes, clothing, housewares, belts, things like that. Um, so yeah, everything that I will show you um, up until I switch to the Goodwill that I also went to on Thursday, um, all of the stuff is $2 each. So let's get started. First off, we have this vintage sweater, and I really like the southwestern print on it. I thought that was really nice. I liked the colorway as well, and it did look like it's a little bit um, higher quality of a vintage sweater just because it is made in England, and it is pure new wool. A lot of vintage sweaters are made of 100% acrylic, which is, you know, not as... Um, high quality as wool so that was really nice and we have American Eagle size medium I like to pick up a lot of bread and butter pieces at the store because they are only two dollars and they're great closet fillers to bundle with in my closet this is a really nice long line open knit crochet kind of duster cardigan with the fringe trim and it just you know has that boho vibe great for layering this would look really nice over a graphic tee every once in a while i will find definitely a gym there and this was one of those this is eileen fisher size medium 100 percent silk drape front blouse so pretty this is in flawless condition i could not find any flaws so that was awesome um, it does have the roll tab sleeve, so there's the button there to secure it with. So pretty and feminine and delicate. Again, none of this stuff has been steamed like my last haul, sorry about that. The tags, a lot of the tags are still on, um, so just bear with me on that. Next up we have a Lou and Gray size large, kind of chunky cardigan. Um, sweater and I liked the black and white and also this is 37% wool so I like to grab sweaters from um, blue and gray um, let's see what's the other one oh H&M Topshop um, that have wool or alpaca or mohair in them they seem to do a little bit better just because they are a little bit higher quality um, and you know again this is just a great bread and butter piece to bundle with okay next up speaking of top shop we have this really beautiful sweater and it has all of this embroidery and also beading I'm not sure if you can see that but that's all beading there it continues onto the sleeves it's really pretty I couldn't find any missing beads or um, embellishments, so that was awesome. And this is a size 6, a US size 6. So I loved this piece. Next up we have an Altered State. Altered State is a great bread and butter um, bundle brand for me. People seem to really like it. It's like that, um, you know, very trendy um, look to it. Usually it has like a boho um, edgy vibe. I love this cardigan. It's a mixed plaid printed um, open knit cardigan and um, it is definitely lightweight. It's almost like a waterfall front but not quite and again it does have the roll tab sleeves that you can secure there with the button. This is a size small 
We have a printed J. Crew t-shirt. How cute is this? It's like a peachy color and it has some fruit, um, some palm trees, a pretty lady here, um, size medium, has some fuzz on it. But yeah, I liked this. I do like to pick up, um, you know, the cuter, more like whimsical printed basic tees from J. Crew. They seem to do pretty well. Then we have a, I'm not sure if you say P.O.L. or Pole for this brand, but it is a boutique brand and um, it seems to do pretty well on Poshmark. I was looking up comps. I just typed in P.O.L. chenille sweater and the last one that I saw sold for like $38, which was pretty surprising to me for just like a basic boutique brand. Um, but it definitely does feel like high quality. Um, the chenille is super thick and cozy. This is a size, let me see if I can see the size, size small. And it's this really pretty like deep teal color. Next up we have a um, French Bulldog printed sweater. And this is just from the Limited which I have not grabbed in forever. I definitely obviously did not grab this for the brand. I did for the style. A lot of people have French Bulldogs. They are very cute dogs. Um, and I loved the sweater. It's also super soft and it's in great condition. It's a size medium. Okay, next up we have an Eliza J dress. This is a size 12. And it's this really pretty jewel tone green. I thought it would be great for the holidays. So I definitely need to go ahead and get this listed like immediately. Um, but yeah, I liked this. I think it, you know, is a good piece to have in my closet right now. Maybe I'll just share it to the top so that it gets a little bit more exposure um, before the holidays are over. Next up, we have a pair of blank NYC jeans. And these are the Skinny Classic in a size 26. They're just a gray pair of jeans with some fading and then the frayed hem at the bottom. Um, so I wanted to just grab them. I don't always pick up this brand. I probably would not have picked these up at Goodwill. My Goodwill charges $7 for jeans. However, I will grab them for two. Moving on, we have an anthropology top. I thought this was precious. The sub brand is Diletta. It's a size extra small. And look at the back of this tee. Isn't this so cute? It's like this vibrant floral print and then it has kind of this like peplum hem towards the bottom. It's like a tiered bottom hem. And I just thought this was so cute. Um, so yeah, Diletta doesn't always do the best for me, but I was not going to leave this piece behind. Moving on, we have just an H&M sweater, and this kind of goes along with what I was talking about earlier with the Lewin Gray sweater. So this does have, this is 15% alpaca. So again, it's that higher, higher end fabric content. These retail from H&M anywhere from like $40 to $60, so that, that brings the resale value up just a little bit. Um, and it's this cozy, kind of chunky, high-low sweater, just a great basic. Another blue and gray piece. This is a size small, and it's just this uh, open front cardigan jacket. It's very um, kind of soft. It's not stiff at all. It's kind of like that um, updated basic, you know, it makes you look a little bit more put together, but it's still very comfortable. Um, so this was a good find. Next up we have the newer tag cabbie and this is a size extra large, really pretty sleeveless blouse. It has a side tie here and all of this crochet around the bust area, just really pretty. 
I forget what the name of this tank is, but it does look like it sells for around $25, 25 to 30 on Poshmark. I think the extra large or the larger sizes do a little bit better um, in cabbie. We have a sleeveless cardigan, so a vest, otherwise known as a vest, from Athleta, size small. And it's like this kind of like a marled, chunky knit um, vest with a tie back. And yeah, I liked this a lot. Again, this looks like it does really well in Poshmark, maybe around $35, so that was awesome. And our last piece from the Family Thrift Center outlet is this Brandy Melville, very lightweight, slouchy cardigan. So here's the arms. Um, it is a long line. It's just great to throw over anything really, like a basic tank um, or a t-shirt. And, you know, just a great lightweight basic to layer with. Okay, so moving on into a Goodwill that I stopped into after I went to the outlet. Um, I only found a few items, but they were pretty good items. I was definitely happy with the trip. I did find one pair of shoes there. They are these Steve Madden slip-on um, mules, or yeah, I guess mules. And they are genuine leather. They're a suede. The style name is the Nando, N-A-N-D-O, and they are a size 8 medium. And they're in great shape. I did pay $6 for them. Okay, moving on into clothing from Goodwill. I picked up this Free People Thermal. I've sold this at least two or three times in the past. I believe it's called the Karina Thermal. And I like this one a lot because it has all of this exposed seam detailing in the back really cute definitely that slouchy casual vibe next up we have this rebecca taylor 100 percent silk dress how pretty is this dress it's not doing it justice the camera right now but they are velvet hearts that's the print it has this really pretty micro pleating down the front um, this would be really cute with just tights and some booties or closed-toed heels for like a, you know, holiday party. Um, so I love this find. Next up we have a Free People dress. This is a size small. The Rebecca Taylor, the little size, metal size dot tag that she usually has on her clothing um, fell off and so I don't know the size. I think it's around a six but I'll have to add measurements into the listing. Sorry guys my hair is just like all over the place right now. Um, but anyways back to this free people dress. This is a 70s style kind of bell sleeve mini dress and it has this kind of like subdued chevron print to it with all these vibrant colors. I love this. It has the keyhole opening in back. Um, so yeah, this was a good find. Another dress, we have a De Seagal piece. And I mentioned in the part one thrift haul, I found a De Seagal piece um, earlier in the week. And it does have a following. People do search for this brand. Um, and I love this dress so much. It has all of this really pretty embroidery and beading. Um, and I could not find any missing beads, so I definitely wanted to grab it. It is a maxi dress, and it kind of has this, like, tie-dye print to it, and then it has, like, a tiered ruffle towards the bottom with more embroidery. This is all embroidered right in here, the black and white. Um, so that is so pretty. It's a size 40, which I think is a little bit of a bigger size. There is the brand embroidered on the back. Okay, my favorite brand to find, we have Johnny Was. Let me fix the collar really quick. Johnny Was, size small. This is 100% silk popover blouse. 
um, it's not embroidered, which is fine. Honestly, um, his silk pieces do just as well, but um, I love this. I think it's so pretty with all the vibrant colors. Um, and the print is just really pretty, very Johnny Was. I was so excited to find this. It's always a good day when you find Johnny Was. This made me very happy to have stopped into this Goodwill. And we have a, another Free People piece. This one is missing its size. Um, it's a striped, boho, cropped, embroidered top. It has a lot going on. It has this lattice detailing here as well. Um, and the comps looked really good for this one. I think some people had it listed at like 75. I don't expect to get that for it. Um, but it is good to see that, you know, when you do a quick search on Poshmark at Goodwill. Okay, we have a St. John piece. And this is a size extra large. Unfortunately, it does have a spot that I didn't notice um, when I was in the store. But I will spot treat it and see if I can get it out. Um, I do, I have gotten pretty good at getting spots out over the last couple of years. Um, it's this really pretty kind of like lime green yellow color. It's like a perforated knit and it is a wool blend. So, um, yeah, the fact that it is a wool blend, it's wool and rayon. The fact that it is a wool blend and it's extra large and it's St. John, all three of those things made it a more desirable piece. If this were a size small, I probably would not have grabbed it um, just because in my experience, smaller sizes in St. John do not do as well. I also liked the fit of this a lot. It kind of has that dolman sleeve um, and relaxed vibe to it. Okay, so that's it for the Goodwill. Let's move on. Actually, sorry, I have one more piece from Goodwill. This is Cloth and Stone, and this is a size small. It's a midi dress. It kind of has this cold shoulder. It has that, like, indigo washed chambray look to it. It has the side vent down here at the bottom. Um, just a nice kind of classic style dress from Anthropology very boho and casual. Okay, so that's it for Goodwill. Now we will move on into um, a family thrift center store that I went to on Sunday. So if you watched my part one, you would have seen me explain how um, I did. I spent $200 at a family thrift center store um, earlier on in the week. This was not an outlet. Um, and because I spent up to because I spent fifty dollars. If you spend up to fifty dollars, you get fifty percent off on Sunday. Um, and so, because I spent so much, I definitely wanted to go on Sunday and get that fifty percent off of um, items that I could find um, to try to kind of average out those prices a little bit. I wanted to bring down the prices that I spent on the stuff earlier on in the week. Um, so this is what I found on Sunday, and all of these items were 50% off. So we'll start off with shoes, and I first grabbed this pair of Betsy Johnson heels. There's a tag. They are beaded and embroidered, really, really pretty. Um, they are velvet, so they would be great for winter time. This would be so pretty to wear to like a holiday party with just a basic, you know, black or gold dress, even a silver dress. Um, and they are in really great shape. Here's the back heel. Um, no real wear to them. They are a size 8, and they are the style Sky, S-K-Y-E. Okay, second pair of shoes. We have these Nine West booties. I definitely don't always pick up Nine West shoes. However, I thought these were really trendy. They are genuine leather and um, I liked the pointed toe as well as this kind of mixed media here with it's kind of like a matte reptile um, texture to it. 
and the kind of chunky heel here. They are in great shape. And again, they were 50% off, so I wanted to grab them. They were priced at $12.51, so right around like $6, six to $7. And they are a size um, 9. Okay, then I grabbed a pair of Steve Madden combat boots. These are just very basic um, combat boots. Some of these kind of roll down and have like the cute interior lining. These do not, which I kind of like. I might end up keeping these because they are my size. They're a size 8 and I desperately need just kind of like an everyday shorter boot to wear with like sweaters and jeans. They are in really good shape. They just need a little bit of like leather conditioning. Um, so I'll use my Dr. Martin's Wonder Balsam on them. These were priced at $6.56, so 50% of that. And Vince Camuto, kind of a peep toe um, heeled um, wedge, or no, not wedge, <laughs> heeled uh, booty. They have this buckle here at the ankle. And this looks like a pretty popular style. They look like they do pretty well. They are the Venica style, size nine and a half, and they are genuine leather. So those were a good find. Again, these were priced at twelve fifty one. So divided by two, right around six or seven dollars. Um, okay, so that's it for shoes. Moving on into clothing. We have this Millie sweater, and this is 100% wool. It's this lovely fuchsia color. It has this bow detail at the neck. Um, it's a size small, and this was priced at $6.56, so $3 to $4. Really nice. Wild Fox, and this is a size extra small. It says, keep your hands off my frites. Um, I think that's how you say that. These are just some french fries. Um, this is priced at $3.93, so right around $2. It's kind of like a heathered gray. It's in good shape, and this inside lining is like one of the softest that I felt from Wild Fox, um, so I definitely wanted to grab it. And then I found a whole lot of Athleta. I definitely hit the Athleta jackpot. So I have four items here. This first piece is a newer piece from Athleta. This is the newer tag. It's a size small, and this particular sweater had really good comps on Poshmark. Um, it looks like it sells for like 40 to 50 even $60. I think because it's newer and it is just so cozy, it is so soft on the inside. It has this zipper here that you can zip up if you're really cold, and then kind of this like... Um, crossover detail in front. It does have a zippered pocket and it has the thumb holes which are super cozy. It's like this really pretty plum color. Some more Athleta, just a basic black cardigan and again just a cozy piece. This is also a size small. This one was $7.57 divided by two. Um, so yeah, this was another good find. This purple one was $14.51, so um, right around $7 to $8. Then we have Athleta, size small again. Um, another nice purple color on this one. It's like a heathered, it has almost like a heathered effect to it. This one was $6.56. Um, and again, it has that same lining as the other one. It's like super soft. Um, so I definitely wanted to grab that one. And then an Athleta sports bra. This is just a gray strappy sports bra. Um, here is the logo on the back. And this one was priced at $5.45. We have a vintage sweater. I liked this one because of the pastel colors. I thought it was really cute. It is very soft. 
This one was $5.45. We have a James Purse top. This was priced at $4.94, so around $2.50. Um, just a basic kind of slub style v-neck. These go for like $20 to $25 in my closet. And last but not least, we have a new tags made well from their texture and thread line, size large. This retailed for $49.50, and I got it for around five. They had it priced at 10 with 50% off. It has this like lettuce edge to it. Um, and some elastic down here at the bottom. It's like a really pretty mauve color. Um, again, it's new with tags, so that was great. And that was it for my entire week of thrifting. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything. It was a lot of items. Um, feel free to let me know what some of your favorite items were. Um, that's always really interesting for me to hear what everyone likes. I think it was a pretty good week of thrifting. I'm, it's, I'm excited to go to the bins um, next week to kind of uh, drive down my thrifting, cost to, thrifting costs for the month. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye.